Hi, in this video, we're going to be looking at sketching parabolas with the equation y equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Looking at our first example, y equal to x squared minus 3x minus 4. The equation is in standard form. So firstly, we need to examine the value of a. If a is positive, we're going to have a happy face, a happy parabola. If a is negative, less than zero, we're going to have a sad face, a sad parabola. Remember, if we're positive, we're happy. If we're negative, we're sad. In the example we have, the value of a is positive 1. It's a number in front of x squared. So that means we're going to have a happy parabola, a happy face. Secondly, we're going to be looking at the turning point. So we have an equation to find the x value. And the x value for the turning point is equal to minus b over 2a. Remember, the value of a is 1. In this case, the value of b is minus 3 and the value of c is negative 4. So we're going to use the equation x is equal to minus b over 2a. And if we do that, x equals minus b, and the value of b is negative 3, so we're going to use minus into minus 3, all over 2a, the value of a is 1, 2 into 1. So negative times negative is positive, so we're going to get a positive 3 over 2. So x is equal to 3 over 2. So to find the y value of the turning point, we're going to take the 3 over 2 and sub it into the equation. So using your calculator, you're going to take your 3 over 2 and substitute that into our equation. In other words, 3 over 2, all squared, minus 3, brackets 3 over 2, minus 4. And if we do that, we're going to get minus 6.25. Once again, take your 3 over 2 and substitute into the equation. We're going to plot this point, which is 3 over 2, that's 1 and a half and minus 6.25, one and a half and minus 6.25. We have our turning point. Note, this is a happy parabola. So if we try and look at what the parabola is gonna look like to be a happy face turning at this point, you'll notice that we're gonna have X and Y intercepts. So to find our Y intercept, that's quite straightforward, which is negative four, the constant, or you can let x to be 0. To find the x-intercepts, and before we do that, let's plot the y-intercept to be negative 4. To find the x-intercepts, we let y to be 0. And in this case, we're going to get take x squared minus 3x minus 4 and equate that to 0. We're going to factorize that. x minus 4, x plus 1 is equal to 0. It gives us two values for x x is plus 4, x is minus 1, plus 4, minus 1. So we're going to plot minus 1, x-intercept, 4, which is the x-intercept. We are now ready to draw our parabola. And remember, we're trying to get a happy face. And summarizing this, we have our turning point, 3 over 2 minus 6.25, y-intercept, negative 4, x-intercept, 4, and negative 1. We want to investigate this parabola a little further. The axis of symmetry is the x value of the turning point, and the formula is x is equal to minus b over 2a, which we found to be 3 over 2. So we have the axis of symmetry, x equal to 3 over 2, and if we draw that vertical line, that is the axis of symmetry which cuts the graph into two equal parts. If we look at a domain for this graph, x is an element of reals. For every x value, we will get a point on the graph. The range, you'll notice that the lowest point it reaches on the y-axis is the turning point y-value, which is minus 6.25. So we can state that our range, y will be greater and equal to minus 6.25. And a conclusion for the range 
if we have a happy face, it's y greater than equal to the turning point. If we have a sad face, the range will be y less than and equal to the turning point. Thank you.